Good morning, everyone. I hope you guys are all having a blessed week. Uh, we're out here today in the garage. It's, uh, it's a little bit cooler. Uh, I had a lot of noise pollution earlier, but everything seems to be settled down. So let's see if we can get through one video without a helicopter going over. So listen, these are the words that the Lord told Israel. And it's about blessings and curses. In other words, God's saying, you can have this, or you can have that. Let's take a look at this and see if America might be following this same pattern. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe all his commandments which I have commanded you this day, the Lord shall set thee on high above all the nations. And all these blessings shall come upon thee and overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Blessed shalt thou be in the city, and blessed shalt thou be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of the ground, and the fruit of thy cattle, and the increase of kind, and the flocks of thy sheep. Blessed shall be the basket in thy store. Blessed shall be thou, when thou come in, and blessed shall be thou when thou go out. You know what God's telling him right there? He's saying, listen, if you will put me first, if you will do what you're supposed to do, everything about your nation will be blessed. Your economy, all these things listed were the economy of Israel. You will be blessed. America, has been the most blessed nation that's ever been on the earth. We are the most blessed. We've had the highest standard of living. We've had the, the most blessed economy. Everything was going really good. And then something happened. America made a great big mistake. America started legalizing what, a God, what God called an abomination. Little by little over the course of the last 50 years we became completely unrecognizable from what we once were. Our morals are gone and we parade our sin in the streets. We celebrate our sin in the streets. We mock God in our streets. We have absolutely no shame in America today. None. We went from the richest nation in history to the brokest nation in history. I, I don't know what it is. What, what was the last time I looked? What, what are we, 34 trillion in debt, something like that? I mean, an astronomical amount. We went from the richest to the poorest in just a couple of decades. America is no longer on a slippery slope. We are in total free fall. All of our cities, New York, San Francisco, Portland, New Orleans, take your pick. All of them are as bad or worse than Sodom and Gomorrah ever was. And you go to downtown in most of these cities, they're all burned out, all the shops are closed from all the, all the BLM riots and everything else that's gone on. Defund the police. The police no longer punish crime at all. We're a house of cards just waiting to collapse. Goes on to tell us in Deuteronomy 15, 19, But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon you and overtake you. Cursed shall thou be in the city, cursed shall thou be in the field, cursed shall thou be the basket in the store, cursed shall thou be the fruit of thy body and the fruit of the land, Cursed shall thou be when thou come in, and cursed shall thou be when thou go out. People, look at our economy right now. I don't know about how it is where you live, but where I live, there's a lot of empty spots on the door, store shelves. The economy is horrible, and it's only getting worse. 
the, when any nation rejects God, any time, you can go through all, throughout all history, the minute a nation starts rejecting God, the first thing to go is the economy. And that's exactly what we're doing. People, you know all these gay pride parades, you think you can walk up and down the street? Do you think you can mock God and get away with it? Well, you can't. And any time America starts celebrating sin, that is mocking God. When you have a gay pride parade going up and down the streets in all your major cities, when you dedicate an entire month to celebrating sin, you're mocking God and you're not going to get away with it. One of our biggest sports in America is football. And the biggest day is Super Bowl Sunday. Listen, the Super Bowl uh, halftime show most of the time is just an absolute demonic frenzy. We celebrate sin. Everything about our entertainment industry is celebrating sin. You cannot mock God and get away with it. People, America is on a... We're, we're, we're done. We're done. And listen, listen to this. Even if Donald Trump gets reelected, even if Trump gets reelected, we're going to have four good years where he'll probably improve the economy, shut the border, but it doesn't matter. The mocking God's not going to stop. The gay pride parades are not going to stop. The Super Bowl halftime show is not going to stop. The entertainment industry is not going to stop. We are celebrating sin just like Sodom and Gomorrah did. And it's going to be the downfall of us. People, listen. Our economy is going to collapse pretty soon. The economy is going to collapse. Keep up with your preps. Keep storing up food and water so that uh, if something happens at the store shelves run dry, you have enough food to last you a couple months. Keep your preps going because hard times in America are coming. We have rejected God and we're going to pay the price. Anyhow, I just want to give you something to think about. Heaven or hell you choose. Just remember, once you take your last breath, it's a done deal. How are you guys doing today? <laughs>